Meet Jason Talley and Pete Ayer, two liberty lovers who are traveling the road to revolution through an initiative they've named the Motorhome Diaries. The idea of the Motorhome Diaries is uh, essentially uh, Obama uses the term a community, uh, community organizer, and uh, so that's how we got to start. And so, like, the, the freedom movement doesn't really have anything like that. Uh, so our big thing is we want to, like, um, talk to people, listen to, you know, what they're doing um, as far as you know, promoting freedom. And uh, you will write about them and, you know, let the, the best ideas, like, spread. And we're going to go out, obviously, bash the policies going on now. But more importantly, we're going to get to the underlying rationale that people should be free to live their lives as long as they don't initiate force against somebody else. So whether that's taxes or, you know, gun control or or, um, you know, the war on drugs or, you know, the war in Iraq or anything, like, we shouldn't, you know, be forced to support things that we haven't signed on for. Exactly, and the biggest impediment to our freedom is the government, and uh, it needs to be uh, reined in. They'll be traveling around the nation in search of fellow freedom fighters with the goal of connecting groups and individuals who uphold the common ideal of liberty. Uh, we're going to head to New Hampshire first, and then we have to be in Los Angeles on the 24th. Um, 23rd, yeah, we have a uh, panel discussions for the Atlas Foundation. Um, and so we're going to like go to Chicago and uh, Denver, Colorado, Vegas at least, but probably a bunch of stops in there. Yeah, definitely. And then uh, after that, we, were, we had a couple possible routes, maybe heading up the coast and going to the Pacific Northwest. Um, there's some good people and groups up there, but we got to pick up the third man on our crew, so we're heading across uh, east on I-10, so we'll, we'll go through... Uh, a lot of good towns and stuff and hope to hope to meet some folks. We've been telling people that we're doing it for a year. But I've been thinking about this today. Maybe yeah. we should maybe we should uh, have a goal of forty eight states. That's that's doable. Yeah. We do forty eight. We, we why not forty nine, dude? Yeah, we could go to Alaska. We could do like a moody we're, well, we're and go going salmon to, we're farming. Going to, we're going to yeah. we're Fishing. going to Vancouver, we're going to Toronto. We should we're going down to Baja, California to see that that uh if there's like some Americans, you know, instead of like when they get older and they don't move to Arizona or Florida, some of them are moving to like Baja, California, and there's like, you know, not a lot of government there at all, so they're able to pretty much do what they want and, and develop some of their own sustaining uh, civil society. Like, it's, it's really great. Oh, I just heard they were all killed by those drug gangs. <laughs> probably not. <laughs> they probably are so prosperous because of the free trade, yeah, they're able yeah. to hire like the best to be security, you know, <laughs> private defense agencies. Yeah. The 30-foot-long RV that will serve as transportation for the adventure has been affectionately dubbed MARV, an acronym standing for Mobile Authority Response Vehicle. So I've been looking at uh, motorhomes that have been coming through for a while, and uh, I saw this one. This one kept popping up. Uh, each time the price was uh, reduced. And so uh, this is actually the first one that uh, we looked at, and we just uh, we just got it. So, uh, yeah, so far, so good. Good deal. Yeah, and it has, uh, has a CB already, and... Uh, outdoor speaker and a PA system in here so we're gonna annoy a lot of people yeah <laughs> so uh, the motorhome diaries is a project of uh, the freeagents.com fr33agents.com and so we were thinking about uh, getting like a uh, what buses have uh, like the logos all the way around um, and so it would be uh, the motorhome diaries and then we're trying to get sponsoring organizations like uh, right now uh, we're gonna promote free talk live and the back of the RV is going to promote the Free State Project. And so if you wanted... And Atlas. Oh, Atlas. <laughs> the Atlas Economic Research Foundation uh, was very generous. And uh, and and so uh, what we want to do is we're thinking, like, maybe either all yellow with black uh, graphics or all black with, like, uh, gold yellow graphics. Yeah, and uh, so, yeah, we just want to kind of get the brand out there, I think. It's basically like a rolling billboard. For people to see and you know they may get curious what's going on with that and check us out and you know as we roll in a new like towns and stuff we want to hit up some of the local media or yeah like maybe college radio stations or something and just go in and try to try to let folks know what's going on and get them looped in to the network while the journey has been partially sponsored by various donors pete and jason have still had to make some sacrifices of their own uh, a lot of the stuff jason and i are getting rid of like we're both pretty minimalist with our uh with our stuff, but we're selling some stuff on Craigslist, but we're just going to dump a bunch on here, and when we roll into Key, New Hampshire, we're just going to donate it all to, like, start out the mission good, like, you know, as good neighbors, and and uh, I'm selling my motorcycle, which I wish I didn't have to, but I'm selling my motorcycle to have some more liquidity, and uh, the guy I'm selling it to, he's kind of like a Ron Paul Republican. Today, he was talking about Ron Paul and how he wish he would have got elected. And uh, you said he uh, is going to donate to us 100 bucks a month. Yeah. 
yeah. hundred bucks every other month. Yeah. yeah. And it's great. I mean, he's just, a, just a random guy yeah, he's that a, he's uh, a, we just met. But he's got his uh, own company, a handyman, and he's got a couple employees. And you know, you can tell he's a really upstanding, like, principled guy. And he just, I think there's a lot of other people out there. I think half the battle is just introducing these ideas and getting them linked in to these networks and uh, going from there. The trip has barely begun, and the ambitious journeymen have already found support in unexpected places. And then uh, yesterday, when we were picking up the RV, um, buying it. We ran into two uh, city employees, and uh, they were just like asking what we're doing with the RV, and you know we told them, uh, and uh, they they really liked it, uh, and they, they were saying that uh, the uh, the government is too big and it's in our wallets too much, and so these just we're going to tell a lot of stories of just all the different people that are out there doing uh, pretty cool things. Thanks to advances in technology, now may be a better time than ever to undertake this type of project. We have networks, uh, we have technology, so this is going to be... and We've got good looks. Yeah, we have that going for us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, like, YouTube, uh, we're going to, we have, oh, and also, like, uh, broadband cards. Uh, we're going to be able to plug into the internet all the time, take video. One of us can be driving, the other one can be editing video. Um, we pull over, like, at a Starbucks yeah. or a, a Flying J truck stop, and we upload the video. Yeah. And we, we move on. We're going to be, we're going to try to be uh, pretty transparent about everything, so... Um, we have a Google map that has our locations and where we've been, um, or current location, I should say. And then we're going to have a Google calendar that uh, has our itinerary. So what we want people to do, or we want people to give us good ideas, um, like what would make a good story, uh, so that maybe they can um, show us. Uh, so we're, we're also interested in like uh, communities, like Burning Man, and some of these uh, places where people go out on their own and live free, and may not live the way that uh, the average person would want them to, but it has nothing to do with them. Um, you know, they're just living the way that they want and while respecting everybody else. While optimism abounds in the motorhome, Pete and Jason are prepared to face the reality of spending a whole lot of time together in very close quarters. Uh, Pete's probably going to be unbearable to live with. Yeah. Probably, uh, you probably realize that on Saturday. <laughs> too much metal, too much in the right. day. <laughs> yeah, well, we have headphones, right? So uh, Pete likes uh, metal and uh, I like um, disco punk. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> what would the most difficult thing? I mean, I think we have I think we have assembled like a great team and there's a lot of really good people behind us, so you know, I'm pretty confident. For me it's weird being in a situation like, you know, not having like a st stable job and stuff like cuz cuz I just left a previous job to be able to do this and uh, you know, usually I have something going and some things on the back burner, but this I just have so much confidence in that that uh, you know, I'm willing to just pretty much drop everything and, and jump into this, so I think uh, we're going to put out a good product and it will help hopefully connect some people and turn people on so they'll be, we'll be able to keep it going. The Motorhome Diaries is being referred to as a near real-time documentary because the trip will be thoroughly documented with constant updates on the website. So if people want to follow what we're doing they can go to motorhomediaries.com and uh, we'll have videos and blogs and, and tweets and uh, all that kind of stuff going on. Pete's too uh, tough to um, have to say the word tweet. I know. <laughs> I, don't, I, I still haven't bought 100% of the technology, man. I'll let, you, I won't, I'll let you handle the bulk of the uh, Motorhome Diary tweets. <laughs> yes, whereas I'm not. Uh, yeah, yeah. Tweet just rolls off my tongue. Aside from staying up to date on motorhome activities through the website, there are plenty of other ways to get involved as well. I mean, if people if people like what we're doing and they want to help us out, we're, we have a, uh, initially we had a chip-in account, now we have a PayPal uh, thing set up where they can help, you know, chip in to help us buy a gallon of gas or, or whatever they want to or do. Or a tank of gas? Yeah. Uh, and we may uh, we may uh, roll out a wish list soon of like gear that you know would help us out if people know somebody who's selling something or or has something they maybe want to donate and uh, give us tips on uh, yeah, like story ideas. ideas people that are doing good things um, you know fighting fighting the government um, or if they need help fighting the government uh, I guess we, it sounds like the A team um, but um, I love it when a plan comes together <laughs> <laughs> so yeah uh, tips um, you know or places to go like events that we can go to. Um, and yeah, like I said, uh, like Pete said, if you want to join us on the road, uh, yeah. you know, we'll, and, we'll and take people And especially, the big thing is if, if you check the itinerary and we're heading your way, yeah, yeah, and yeah, you want to meet yeah. up, let us know. And if, if you get some people together, let's 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 do it up. And yeah. uh, it'd be great to see you guys and connect. And, you know, hopefully we can help you guys out. So, so you, there needs to be a voice out there for, um, you know, just 100% freedom, uh, you know, just, uh, yeah. just getting government uh, totally off our backs. And so there, and we know a lot of people out there and uh, we think we can connect them.